Beet shoot and sweep net sampling for armyworm will underestimate the number of larvae, particularly the large, potentially damaging larvae. To make the best possible estimate, a ground search is essential. Large larvae typically feed at night and shelter during the day on the ground in the stubble and under the soil. You can see from this graph where we monitored a field for armyworm over a three week period that the beet sheet was picking up some large larvae but when we look at what we found in the ground search you can see that there are equally as many larvae there, much fewer small and medium than what you found in the canopy. You can see from this data that if you ignored ground searches you'd be severely underestimating the number of larvae in the crop. The larvae shelter under stubble and in the loose soil at the surface. You'll find them curled up like this one is. A casual search will find larvae but in order to add the data from ground searches to your beet sheet or sweep net sampling you will need to use a standardised sampling technique. Use a trowel to move stubble and loose surface soil aside to find the larvae. Repeat using a sampling unit of one metre of row at a number of sites across the field. Armyworm pupae are similar to those of Helicoverpa, but typically do not form pupal chambers. You may also find evidence of natural enemy activity in the soil, like this pupa of the parasitoid Natelia that has killed the armyworm pupa before a moth could emerge.